Hello, lovelies. Welcome to our Earth Yarns Trunk Show. Yay! We have a whole bunch of pretties to talk about today. Um, plus the kind people at Earth Yarns have sent us a whole bunch of shop samples. Uh, this show has only been up, I just got it up on the wall on Wednesday and we've already sold some things, which is great. Uh, we have our special trunk show pricing running through the end of September. So make sure you get your goodies while you can. Huzzah! All right, so starting with, all right, so we've got a few different bases this time. We have monochrome worsted in three colorways. So you have the charcoal gray and the monochrome worsted does sort of like this gradient stripe action that you can see to great effect on this sunset oversized pullover here. And so we have it in stock in sort of like a charcoal -y gray and this beautiful green, which on the website looks more like a teal, but it is very green. It's, uh, I think it looks bluer in the photo online, but it is like super green. It is luscious. And um, I also got it in like this ivory and beige combo, which is super duper nice. The monochrome. So all of the yarns that we're looking at today, these are all super extra fine, super wash merino, 100% merino. That is, uh, we have some DK. We have a bunch of fingering, and of course we have the worsteds. So the monochrome worsted is $26 a skein, and you get. 220 yards per 100 gram hank and it is 100% extra fine superwash merino so and the extra fine is this is many many strands that have been plied together so it's approximately like 10 strands 10 individual strands that are applied together what this means is it shouldn't pill as much because there's so much twist in the fiber and as you see you get excellent excellent stitch definition um, all of the earth yarns are hand dyed in southern Turkey. There's a short video on our website that uh, shows like a very short clip of some local women hand dyeing the harvest plant dyed yarns. So next to our monochrome worsted, which you can see here, uh, we have some unique fingering. Unique fingering does very cool hand dyed gradient stripes. You can see it here on this Annika shawl and also here on the petals shawl. So the cool stripey bit on the bottom of these petals, this is unique fingering and it's the yarn that does this super amazing color effect. Of course, on this pattern is aided with short rows. And then the solid color, uh, this purple happens to be the monochrome as a fingering, but also you could do this pattern with one of the harvest fingering. These are tonal plant dyes. So, and with the unique fingering yarns, it is a little difficult to see how the colors will play out when it's in the skein. So on our website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash earth, spelled U-R-T-H, we have photos of samples so you can see how the yarns uh, will knit up. This is the Harmony, which does, which actually here's the Harmony here. But the Harmony does more of like a rainbow gradient. And then we also have color 3004, which is more of like a broken up rainbow that you can see on the chevron scarf here. So see on here, it's more like stripes. And the other one is more of like a blendy gradient. This is more skinny stripes. So that's the difference between the Harmony and the 3004. So, and then this 3008, this is like autumnals. So it's less a coral and like this deep beet color, like this dark aubergine. So like corals and purples, sort of autumny. This 3002, which is one of my favorite colorways. It's like this deep burgundy. Also, this looks super great with all these solids. Look at that. It's like, look, September in yarn. That's just awesome. So in this burgundy, you're not seeing it. Like, look at this, it's called black grape. Look how great that looks together. And look how awesome, like you could do this petals 
with these two colors and that would be super killer super killer and then we also have it in more of like a neutral so this is going to be like greens some soft lilac and of course these charcoals and it's sort of like driving along like a wooded lane and then sunlight breaks through is how it looks when it works up and then we have the super cute baby squared up the squared up a baby jacket in crochet this is just some granny squares put together to make a, an adorable baby garment and this is made with this colorway this is the 3012 and this is like lots of purples and teals and some greens it's a good like fairy color and then if you're into like hot pinks and purples then 3024 is going to be for you so it's more like hot colors and then the pink and purple stripe this is the pantone colorway of 2022 the purple is the very peri and earth yarns have paired it with a pink stripe and the fingering weight yarn is of course the 100 percent uh, extra fine merino and you get woo, you get 435 yards per each 100 gram hank so in all the striped yarns the unique finger inking that's these stripey pretties that do this magical color work stuff these are $28 a skein and then coming over here the earth we have the earth colors we have them in a fingering weight and we also have them in a DK. And each colorway is named after the plant that was used to dye the yarn. Um, here on this really pretty deco cowl, this one is done up in cinnamon. And look at this great stitch definition, isn't that pretty? And on the page for the show, there's a link to the patterns for each of the samples that are here in the shop. So there's a link to the deco cowl and there's a link to this killer herringbone pullover. So, and the sample we have in the shop is done in monochrome, but I thought also it would really look really killer to be done in the unique fingering as well, because the stripe, see how it does like sort of these tonal stripe? You could do like a color stripe and be super awesome, especially at the yoke where you have this herringbone stitch and you switch colors. So this is a fingering weight sweater and it's this uh, Basilica herringbone sweater. This is the deco cowl. And so the harvest fingering is available in black grape, which is this scrumptious burgundy. We also have it in cinnamon. So here is cinnamon and we have the DK. I have one skein left of cinnamon in the DK. So, and again, the fingering base, you get 435 yards and on the DK base, you get, oh, you get quite a bit. You get 300 yards on the DK. That's a lot. That's an awful lot. That's really nice. So that means for DK, you could get a sweater easy with five skeins. So great yarn to get. And it's so soft and it's very dreamy to knit with. It is a lighter DK. Um, that's so lovely. And 300 yards, that's a crazy amount of yardage. So all the harvest colorways are $26. So here's the cinnamon. And then also we have um, this pretty one is buckthorn. So, and it's this awesome mustard is buckthorn. Not to be confused with the DK pomegranate, which is similar. So, Pretty much, they look very similar, like almost identical. But this is the book, the fingering is buckthorn and the DK is pomegranate. And then we also have, in the fingering we have pistachio. So we have pistachio. So here we'll pull them all down so you can see them all lined up in our pretty autumn rainbow. So here's the pistachio and we have grape leaf, which is this awesome, darker green and we have black which is thuja which is an incredibly rich black so these are all the fingering weight yarn and you can see like how really nice they look with the stripey ones like the colors really complement one another 
you know like look at this with this how nice does that look like you could totally put those together you get some real surprising color combinations like that is super fun it should just be a lot of fun to play with and then of course this rainbow one is gonna go with everything and then if you put any of them with the black of course it just instantly pops and then of course with the DK we as discussed we have the pomegranate and we saw the cinnamon the cinnamon <laughs> cinnamon we have the pomegranate uh, we also have rubia and we have grape leaf just gorgeous green like this is a really rich green and it's so incredible to think these are all plant dyes and look how saturated the colors are that's just super intense and they are light fast and they will stay that color they will not fade out to greens and browns like some other plant dyes are prone to do these are dyed using traditional techniques that have been used in Turkey for many, many years. The same techniques that are used to do the hand-dyed fibers that are incorporated in um, Turkish rugs. So, and then the blue is indigo. And then oddly enough, this gorgeous lilac is blueberry. How cool is that? Very surprising, I think. And then we also have this gorgeous chocolatey color which is our hazelnut. It's this beautiful chocolatey color. And then after the hazelnut, we have this lovely cream, sort of like a, it's like almond milk color almost. And this is oleaster or olus, however you, oleaster, oleaster, oleaster. And look how pretty that is. It's like this gorgeous almondy tone. So and these are all the colorways. And then with the samples, we have in the DK, we have in the Oleaster, we have this awesome flourish scarf, this great stitch definition. And then we have, of course, this oversized sunset pullover, the chevron scarf, and the chevron scarf is available. They have the pattern in um, fingering and DK, and I think they might even have it in a worsted. And then to show off the Pan 22 colorway, we have the Annika shawl here in the Pantone colorway. And over here, we have it in the Harmony. And then also to show off more of these beautiful stripy colorways of the unique fingering is the Petals shawl and the adorable squared up baby sweater. If you guys have questions, comments, um, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. You can send us an email, lovelyyarns at gmail.com. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We have free shipping all the time. Um, shop the show, lovelyyarns.com forward slash earth. Uh, don't forget to co like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and happy stitching!